Hey everybody, welcome to a Craftsmas Cricut tutorial. I hope you guys are having a great time with Craftsmas this year and I look forward to doing it again next year. Today I want to show you guys how we're going to personalize some really cute stockings. You can use these for friends, family, pets, and they make really cute gifts that you could stuff uh, with gifts for your friends, your, your kids' teachers, your neighbor, lots of great things. Very quick, very easy project to do. Let's get over to Design Space and get started. I already have our names typed in just because I wanted to make sure I got everything spelled right. But I'm going to show you guys real quick how we can do um, the names. So I'm going to open up a text box and we will just use Emily as our text. And I may need to move it over so you guys can see it. So here's our text box. The font that I'm using, um, I know it's Christmas something. Let me find it real quick. It's Christmas... Uh, Christmas time, I do believe. Yes. So I'm using Christmas time. Now you can see my letters are super spaced out and they're not over here. What I did was I used the letter spacing to get them as close as I could, which it takes a few clicks and you may need to click a couple times and let it space together and click a few more times and let it space together. Um, I think it's actually a little too close. So let's go out one. Um, so it's at about negative one. But you see how far away that Y still is? We need to ungroup this because for whatever reason, the Y on this one is just really far out. So click ungroup, which is up here in your upper right hand in the layers tab, and take your Y and just with your mouse click on it and just drag it over until it's touching. And you wanna make sure it's nice and lined up. You can either draw a box around the entire thing or select each letter, but you're going to need to weld this. That way there are no, um, What's the word I'm looking for? There are, there are no cut lines. So we're going to get rid of that because we don't need it. But this is the one I typed up earlier. Each name is individual so we can size them easily. What we're going to do is I'm going to open up a shape and I'm going to use a square. Now remember we measured our spacing. So we have five and a half inches wide by four and a half inches tall to work with. So it's a pretty decent space, and I'm just going to double check. I like to double check before I make anything, especially with HTV, because if you mess it up, it's you're pretty much done, and HTV is not cheap. So this is the space we have to work with. Now, I know I don't want to take up the entire space with the name, um, and you can see that it goes behind the box, and I'm going to show you guys real quick how to fix that. Click on the box and just send to move to backward or move backwards. And you'll notice it only does it for certain things. So you're going to go click the box and you're going to send to back. What that does is it puts it behind everything. Now, in order to make sure all of our words are going to fit correctly and look uniform, I'm going to use the largest name and then I'm going to move all these other names over so that they're near it. This is just a neat little trick you can use. So um, if you wanted to make sure everything stays within the same general sizing, because you don't want um, one name to look huge compared to the others just because there's less letters. So like Mike would look really big compared to the name Caroline because there's a lot of letters. So what we're going to do is select each of our names. So you can either do that by, again, drawing a square around them, but you're going to select the square. You can select them by clicking on each one or what you can do is take over here in your layers tab and just click on each one while holding in control and make sure you have them all and you're going to attach them. The reason we're doing this is because now look, when I change one, they all change to fit. So we're going to use Caroline because it's the largest of the names and we're going to make sure that it fits really nicely in our space. Again, I don't want to fill it too much, but I also don't want it to be really tiny. So we're just gonna make hers fit really nicely in the box. So I think Caroline fits pretty well. And all I'm gonna do is just move this over and just take a look at each of the names to make sure they all look like they're gonna fit and they are gonna fit just fine. Again, you wanna use the largest name that way you're not having to mess around with it too much. Now again, we can make this just a little bit bigger if we want to, just to make sure that it fills in a nice amount of our spacing. I'm going to detach these because I want <clears throat> to save the HTV, so I don't want it to cut a ton of them. You know, I don't want them to cut in this order. Um, we're going to click Make It, and I'm going to show you guys what I mean. See how it kind of grouped them all real close? 
it's perfect and that's what we wanted it to do and I'm actually going to group them a little bit closer just because this is my only sheet of this and that way we can try to save just a little bit more HTV now remember when making anything in HTV you need to mirror it and to mirror you go ahead over here right here and there's a little button that says mirror and you're going to click this till it turns green and you'll see that everything is backwards <clears throat> you want to double check when you do this because see how now Mike is overlapping Caroline you're going to need to move things around again so make sure you note that and pay attention to what is touching I always triple check every piece of my HTV when I'm doing it this way so you can see now nothing is touching I'm going to get my machine turned on and show you guys how to load the mat so that we can cut these. I've loaded our mat and hopefully you guys can tell this is the shiny side and then this is the dull side. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to tell. Um, you can always peel up a corner. I show that in another one of my videos. But we're going to get this loaded. Um, this is Sisser Easy Weed Stretch, um, which I normally would just use a regular, but I don't have a regular silver right now. So we're going to do that. Um, again, load it shiny side down. Make sure your mirror is on. I have it set to iron on. So we're going to get this cut out. I leave the whole sheet on and I don't try to cut it until I have everything cut from the machine. Because that way I can then trim around the words versus having just little tiny slivers left over. I can cut really close to the words. So this thing is going to cut this out. Again, two things, shiny side down and make sure your mirror is turned on. Those are very important when cutting HTV. If you cut without the mirror side down, it's not gonna cut through the backing. And if you cut and don't mirror, you've wasted some HTV. You could use it on the back of glass, but that's the only thing you're gonna be able to use it for. And nine times out of 10, you're gonna not have any use for it at that point anyways, especially with something like with these names. So I'm going to let this cut out. I'm going to show you guys a real quick weeding, and then we can get ready to apply it. I've got it all cut, and I know it's really hard to see on this side where it's cut. Because, you know, I, I told you I was going to trim around it. Well, it's a lot easier to see the cut lines when you flip it so that it's the like right way to you. So what I do before I start weeding is I trim it. And remember I said I was going to trim real close to these words because I don't want to waste any of my HTV. Now on this one I will take a little detour and go up because I can always use the silver edge over here for something else. So we just like to cut real close to our words. Like I said, I do that just to save on HTV. So let's go ahead and put that to the side. And then we need to get out our weeding tool. It should be hopefully right here. Now with this, you flip it over, and sometimes they're hard to see. This one's actually pretty easy to see where my my words are. So all I do is I just take and pick up a corner, and sometimes it takes a little bit of finagling, and you do have to pull a little bit. But we're just going to pick up a corner, and I'm not going to cut the names out just yet. I'm going to cut them out um, apart from each other after we've weeded. Now I know a lot of people like rave about weeding HTV. I hate doing it. I hate it, hate it, hate it. I think it's really super annoying, but it is what you have to do. Um, this one is going to be kind of a pain because it does go in between the letters. And you can use your weeding tool to help pull those out. Usually I just use my fingers. This stuff stretches really well, so you can just stretch it out. And sometimes it will rip off like it ripped here, so I'll have to come back through that piece and do another. Um, I'll have to pull it out. But you can use your weeding tool and just pick it from here. And then you can pull it out too. Uh, it's just a personal preference thing. I like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of HTV. Um, I don't mind it now that I have the heat press, which we'll be showing you here in just a minute. Um, and I'll show you how to set that uh, or what temperature to set it at and everything, because I'm still new to mine, so I'm not really comfortable telling you guys how to set yours because they're all different. So let me get this finished weeded, and then we can get ready to apply it. The heat press is set to 320 and 15 seconds. I have yet to figure out how to make the timer on mine work. But all we're gonna do is just line it up with the button. I've been using the button as kind of the rule of thumb. And then I've just been eyeballing where to line up the name so that it looks pretty even. It's a stocking, it is gonna hang at an angle, so nobody will notice if it's not 100% perfect. So because of the buttons, we need to be careful when we lay this down. Um, you need to watch that you don't crush the buttons in the heat press 
because if you do, you're not going to get an even um, amount of heat onto your stocking. So all I do is I just move the top of this over and then I push this in as much as I can without getting these three buttons in there and hopefully you guys can see all of this. And then all we do is we put it down and we just count. So that's about 15 seconds, and my Teflon sheet seems to like to static to the top, which is fine, no big deal. It can move with the top of this. This is a swing away. And we're just gonna let the Emily stocking out. Now, th with this metallic -y look, I like to let them cool a little bit. So I'll pat them a little bit, or I'll take where the stocking hasn't touched the heat press and just use that to cool it a little bit. Pull some of that heat out of there. It's not so hot that you can't put your hand on it. It's just a little bit warm, but you'll just want to reduce some of that heat. I don't like to peel the shiny stuff super hot. Um, I feel like it wrinkles it sometimes. So you just want to... And I notice it's not fully adhered in certain spots. So all you can do, all, well, all you need to do is just stick it down. And I'm guessing we just didn't have quite enough pressure on it. Again, this is sort of a trial and error with these. I've not heat pressed on these particular stockings before. So all I'm going to do is just put a little bit more pressure by just uh, turning the dial on the back of the heat press, and we're just going to repress it. That's the beauty with the heat with the heat transfer. If it's not fully adhered, you can just pre like repress it for a little bit, and then it should adhere no problem. So we're just going to give that a quick press. It doesn't have to be the full 15, but you could totally do 15 as long as you're watching it making sure it's not going to melt or burn. So we just want to go ahead and move that off. Now see what I said about it sticking to the top? It likes to do that. Again, totally okay, no big deal. So we're just going to let some of this heat out of the, the word. You can blow on it, whatever you need to do to reduce that heat just a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and peel it off. And now, with any luck, it will have fully adhered. Alright guys, we have a nice, beautiful, stuck on decal. And look how pretty and shiny that is against this. With the red, it looks really, really nice. I'm going to get the rest of them done, and then we'll show you guys the whole finished product. We finished heat pressing all of them, and they're all finished. They came out really, really cute, and this was such an easy, fun way to personalize your stockings for your family, your pets. So we've got a bunch of different ones with the names of my friend's pets. I think they all came out really nice. And this was such an easy project to do and took very, very little time. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Make sure you click that bell icon as well because that will let you know when I post a new video. I hope you guys have a great day and happy crafting.